Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mall for Wednesday, the 24th of February. In Luke chapter 10, Jesus sends out 72 disciples, sends them ahead of him to the various towns and villages he's, he's going to, and commissions them to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. In verse 17, we read, The 72 returned with joy and said, Lord, even the demons submit to us in your name. And he replied, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. However, do not rejoice that the spirits submit to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. And that struck me. Rejoice that your names are written in heaven. And as I thought about it, I have a sense that as Christians and as a church, we talk about heaven, and it's part of our thinking and our understanding and our theology, and, but it's not part of our daily engagement for us. Um, and our faith is often far more focused on here and now, and what we do and how we live and what it means for our meaning and purpose in life now, rather than just eternity. And, and in a sense, we've almost backed off from eternity, from the old days where we left people struggling um, under oppression and uh, injustice on earth and told them, oh, you'll have pie in the sky when you die by and by. Um, and that was wrong as well. We actually need both. We need to recognize um, that we do need to sort out the earth, but the whole point of our relationship with God is heaven. And, and we need to rejoice that your names are written in heaven. Because ultimately, if your name's not written in heaven, no matter what happens on earth, is insignificant. Because when you end up in heaven and they open the book and your name's not there, that's it. Tickets. Um, and on the other hand, no matter what happens and what you go through and what you experience, um, and how, however negative and difficult life might be, when you get to the door, the gateway to heaven, then they open the book and your name is written there and you are welcomed in. Everything that we've been through on earth will pale into insignificance compared to that. Um, and we somehow need to grasp that more, that our names are written in heaven. That our names are there before God. Were they, God, in, in a sense, and the angels see our names in, in some way. And, and that puts us into almost a reality that, that there's a, a presence there. Um, and our eternity is secure. And that is worth rejoicing about. And that should be a source of constant amazement, joy, and absolute praise. That by his grace, through his love, our names are written in heaven. Hallelujah. Know that. Be encouraged by that. And let that be your blessing.